about Further Future. Further Future's mission is to create space for the exploration of the further future. The further future represents what can happen after what is predictably next. Setting our focal point further than the future supports two important concepts for their organization. First, the opportunity to question the values and assumptions of how things are today and in the foreseeable future. Second, everyone has the opportunity to shape the further future. Discovering Further Future Fiction based on a Further Future Festival Written by Minji Zai, all photos by Jacob Avanzanto Jacob, I hope I pronounced your name right. Valley of Fire Friday, April 29th, 2016 As Angeli crosses the three-mile trek towards Further Future's campsite, the sandstone plateau baked golden from the Nevada sun, swallows her like Oculus Rift. The rich blue sky greets the dusk as the wind glides over the horizon. Out in the distance, she sees white tents sprawled out, inconspicuous, as if this is some sort of top-secret experiment hidden in the middle of the Moapa Indian Reservation. Perhaps it is. This weekend, 4,500 other progressive attendees will be traversing the same journey into the Valley of Fire. Entrepreneurs, burners, music geeks, tech scholars, millennials, and festival nomads alike. They are in sacred Indian territory, home to the Moapa Band of Peyotes. The ground upon which they dance once held the fresh, water creatures that had occupied Lake Mead. Today, Jurassic Age sandstones stand witness to the evolution of a different type of creature, the progressive transhumanist New Agers. Upon closer inspection, further future could be the playground for the United Nations, the new, the new universal agenda, given the type of speakers who are presenting this year. She takes out the paper she had pre-printed from her journalist bag. This year's speaker lineup comprised of the world's most progressive thinkers, movers, and shakers, influencers of our time. Visionary Talks Executive Chairman of Alphabet Inc. and former CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt, on the, on the future of the web, CEO of iHeartMedia Inc.'s Bob Pittman on the future of media, CTO of Neosensory Inc. Scott Novis on wearable technology streaming real-time information into our pre-existing senses, founder and CEO of Six Senses Amanda Kalau discovering the further the future of data and AI, Head of Product Messaging at Facebook, Stan Chevnovsky. Chivno oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce this word. Chudnovsky? Chudnovsky. On the future of messaging, PhD quantum theory scientist Ricardo Sabatini on the future of life. Senior VP of Corporate Strategy and Business Development, Sirius XM Radio's Rachna Bashin on the future of experiences. Think Global Schools founder Joanne, or is that Johan? McPipe, uh, McPike. On the, on the future of education and many more helicoptered in for a few hours to speak. The people listed were just part of the visionary speaker series, one in five speaker series in this three-day festival. Wow Talks. The Wow Talks cover the whys of life, focusing on passion and purpose. Each talk contains five elements, uniqueness, inspiration, challenge, dream vision, and question. Hosted by Gal Steiglitz, 
social entrepreneur and founder of Wow Talks and I Discover. The Wow Talks featured an international speaker lineup, including New York native serial social entrepreneur Radha Agrawal, co founder of Daybreaker, a global dance movement, and Mischief, a millennial focused creative and community agency focusing on iconic branding and architecture. Ruben Lenton, Netherlands kiteboarding pro athlete. Yasha Young, director and curator of Berlin's Urban Nation, Museum of Urban Contemporary Art in Berlin, and Matt Breimer, co-founder of General Assembly, a community supporting entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and startups. Vision of Light and Sound Talks. In the How Will Listen speaker series presented by founder of Further Future, Jason Swamy, and moderated by Courtney Hardeen, the talk series focuses on film and video artists and their ability to capture ideas, tell stories, and flood your visual cortex with captivating visions of the future. This year's speakers include Scott Hansen, also known as Tycho, Gigwell CEO Jeremy Habib, Sean Horton, aka Nordic Soul on VR, AI, and the, and the future of music, in the visions of light and sound, curated and organized by Light Harvest Sound, lightart.tv, and hosted by Ryan Uzalewski. Creator director, creative director of Light Harvest Studio. They hosted a diverse panel of media influencers, including technology director of Further Futures, Kesuke Shingu, touch designers, Jarrett Smith, Moment Factors, Sakchin Bassett, Spe Specular Theories, Ryan Pulliam, Pulliam, Rockstar Lightning Designer, did I say lightning? I meant rock star lighting designer, Sooner Ruthier, Ruth, Ruthier, Ruthier, and Noah and Black Swan's director, Darren Arnofsky. Fuchsia's talk series. The Fuchsia's talk series covers consciousness, the natural laws, and health, kicking off with Dr. Kar Katharina Sophia Voltz, discuss, discussing the future of collaborative scientific discovery. Ravi, Ravi Mantha on the elephant diet. Mark Chasson on regenerative communities and economies. Joshka Bach on the nature of our cognitive mind. Jeffrey Mishlov on consciousness and parapsychology, Jeffrey Martin on non-symbolic consciousness, David Less on world peace from inner peace, and Jim Clark on non-dual poetry. Tech, Techni Talk series. The Techni Talk series focuses on today's more advanced technologies that are in existence right now. Dr. David Hansen's Bringing Robots to Light and AI, Brinkley Warren on Transforming Science Fiction into Science Fact Through Genomics, AI, and Robotics, and Riva Melissa Tez on Hacking Systems with Machine Intelligence, Ben Goherzl's Artificial General Intelligence, and Dr. Mike North, host of Discovery Show's Prototype This discusses radical paradigm shifts, and many more. Lightning and thunder. Far off in the distance, she sees white tents, RVs, Airstream trailers, custom luxury domes that are 200 square feet and nine feet tall, silver metallic nine by nine fest pods, and long rows of cars in various colors, shapes, and brands all gathered close to the camping area. By the time she finished setting up her camp, the sky had turned from deep rich blue to a purple lotus. 
The wind was mild-tempered, as was the air tepid. It felt just right, a little too perfect. She felt as if something had to go wrong to offset such a perfect welcome. Angeli enters the festival grounds with her electronic further future bracelet, tracking her ins and outs as well as her purchases throughout this cashless festival. It also gives her access to Wi-Fi on the festival grounds. She noticed the ambient lights glowing from a distance. Fortet is playing at the Mothership stage and Rempal at Rob Robot Heart stage. The black tourmaline sky suddenly turns sharp white. Nature's strobe light flashes before her eyes. They are in the middle of a lightning storm. She is both calm and terrified at the awe from each consecutive strike. Thunder roars and shakes the ground in confirmation. When she crosses the entrance, she is stepping back to the, f to the further yet not too far future. That's a tongue twister. The conversations, demonstrations, and machinations, either invented or on the cusp of a breakthrough, will manifest in the next 10 years, will be demonstrated here. I think I have to redo that sentence. Smartphones and social media will be a thing of the past as wearable tech like contact camera lenses, biofeedback devices, and Internet of Things will dominate a new civilization. She's entering into a world of transhumanism where every part of the human condition can be tracked, engineered, and integrated through an artificial intelligence system, providing life extensions and a virtual reality upon life reality, a new reality for the new age. She passes by two sculptures, outlines of stick figures or stick figurines seven feet tall, shaped into what looks like two humans who are back to back. They pay no mind to each other and each are fixated at a bright screen each is holding. It is this smart machine, camera, phone, tablet, and tracking device, an omen or a symbol for what already is. She feels unsettled. Hey, let's, let's go check out Fortet, a voice broke her train of thought. It was Dustin, filmmaker of the festival guys. They were all excited to go towards the green glow projecting from the gigantic mothership screen. Riddler's green, Oz's green, Green Lantern's green. Here we go. One thought kept seducing her with every drop of the bass. Let go of your fears and just fucking dance already. Robot Heart, Saturday, April 30th, 2016. The Creators Lounge gave Anjali the opportunity to step into VR demos and converse with the world's most realistic robotic human face named Sophie by Hanson Robotics. It was eerie, but fascinating to feel her touch. It was smooth, but the texture was weightier, and it felt as natural and unnatural as earbuds. Nearby, 3D sound space envelope, 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 satellite, supplied an immersive arena for both musical guests and guided meditation. Around 2 p.m., a shower storm hit the grounds, but it didn't come as a surprise because Angeli and her campmates could see the dark, om om ominous clouds looming from afar, miles and miles away. Do you think it'll head our direction, one asked. I think it's deliberately heading our direction, the person with the weather app on his phone answered. So when it finally came, it spared no one. Angeli tucked in with Ellen and Dylan's canopy. They were both software engineers, a couple from San Francisco. To her left was Kenny, a filmmaker from Los Angeles, and his friend Spade, a music manager and an A&R assistant at a British record label also in Los Angeles. 
As they were beginning to huddle closer because of the icy cold wind, a country rock artist, Walter, who looked like KFC's colonel but with a gray beard, whiskers, and lava pants with Eskimo boots, along with his manager and wifey, came running towards Angeli and the couple to seek shelter inside the canopy. While the wind pushed the rain against their backs, they came together even tighter like March of the Penguins, ensuring their community newborn spliff that the software engineer and the filmmaker were attempting to make would be warm and dry. Thunder crashes as it began to hail a bit. This was their cue to make a run for the teepee. As the waterfall kept hitting them harder and harder, it was the perfect time to get into an altered state of conscious. Nature is angry. It's time they disconnect to reconnect. People are now passing the joint, looking at each other's outfits that could pass for the YMCA band. Angeli couldn't help but wonder, are these the essential ingredients to the bonding of strangers? Storm, spliffs, and spandex? Perhaps so. As soon as the rain let up, people started coming out of their hidings. Because the rain poured unrelenting, it created a, a lake between the campgrounds and the festival. The phenomenon of spontaneous leadership and teamwork arises organically in these festival communities. Almost immediately, one person starts throwing crates in a more shallow area of the pool of water. Before you know it, people were folding disposable tables and passing them dinner party style towards the man-made bridge area. Within 10 minutes, there was a makeshift bridge that allowed people to cross from campground to festival and allowed people like Anjali to catch the Visionary Speaker Series. Across the sprawling reservation, the mothership stage stood as a beacon of diverse talent, treating fans to classic hip-hop from the far side, indie shoegaze courtesy of Still Corners, exhilarating live electronica from 2016 Grammy Award nominee Caribou, a haunting amalgam of Chilean and gospel soundscapes from the exceptional Nicholas Jar, an impromptu conga line led by turntablist extraordinaire Kid Koala, the first stateside performance from pioneering UK act Left Field since 2011, and a vocal-driven performance from HVOB to close out the stage on Sunday night. Other immersive stages include Void Village, boasting both music and a wide selection of vendors, and Booba Cosmica, home to both intimate performances and speaker panels. Each environment was surrounded by ample seating built from colorful pillows, stacks of mattresses, and vibrant day beds, all primed for optimal lounging and relaxation. Standout performances at, at Booba Cosmica included a mesmerizing jazz infused sunrise set from harp aficionado and multi instrumentalist Low Leaf, along with blissful morning DJ sets from Pedro Agu Aguiar and Stiv. At Void Village, Jane Fitz flawlessly executed an all vinyl set while Joeski pay tribute to Prince with the rendition of I Want to Be Your Lover. Wellness Sunday, April 31st Angeli woke up to a beautiful morning. It is the morning after the storm, which is a beauty in and of itself. This was her time to really soak in the sun, stretch her body out, and let today's back-to-back -back wellness lineup stretch her limits. She attended Charlie Knowles and Milano Snow's morning meditation, followed by a Y Fit with Travis Brewer and Modern Tarzan that emphasizes util utilizing another person's body to strengthen our own. There were talks on adventure travel with Dr. Nikki Noche, Fabian Perkowski, Leon Logothetis, Bear Walker, and James Maskell, 
on ibogaine and ayahuasca along with yoga and deep meditation retreats. Yesterday's microactivation series at the Wellness Tent included topics like modern day internal alchemy with Rose Goodman, how to amplify innovative methodologies for entrepreneurs with Heather Rees and Fern Olivia, cognitive optimizations and age defiance with Max Lugavere, and how the medicine wheel works along and biotracking with Bear Walker. Each 30 minutes, all encompassing the idea of efficient self-care and maintenance. Today's microactivation series covered the initiation course that covers how to activate the start of your day with the right food ingredients with Nikki Noche, MD, the importance of mushrooms, including mushroom coffee with Tiro Esso Kaiopila. Ka- Ka- Optimizing functional medicine through the mind with Robin Burzen and diving deep with ayahuasca with Fabian Perkowski. Leaving the future. <sighs> it was very eye opening to say the least. At least the end of the three day festival, she left with more questions for the answers that were presented all weekend. Now that science fiction is no longer fiction, can we assess the risk, likelihood, and prevention of a dystopian science fiction, not fiction story? Without these technologies, will the human condition degenerate, or will it mean the generation of a new transhuman species? Would that be good or bad, or would that be just what is? Is what she is witnessing the beginning of a global agenda? One thing is for certain, this is just the beginning. Thank you for listening and watching. This is this journal entry is titled Discovering Further Future, written and narrated by yours truly, Minji Zai. All photos by Jacob Avazanto. Thank you.